So our next press conference is with the student athletes from Indiana. We have Race Thompson, Xavier Johnson, and Trace Jackson Davis. And we'll go ahead and open it up at this time for questions from the media. Start down here in front. Tom Bruce, Sports Illustrated, Indiana. Trace, uh, I know we talked about this a couple of days ago too, but um, the four games in six days, 100 something points on a roll, feeling good. How much does it just help just getting on a plane and coming here and just doing it again tomorrow? Um, Really, I'm just doing what my team needs me to do to win. Um, my teammates put me in position so I can get these buckets, but um, at the same time, it's going to take a team effort the rest of the way. And um, I know my teammates are eager to get started, and I'm just going to try to continue to produce for us. Hi, Jason Quick with The Athletic. Uh, I'll go Xavier. Uh, can you just kind of describe what your guys' itinerary has been, how, how early you had to get up, what your travel has been like in getting here? Uh, I mean, we actually left right after the game uh, after, we, after we won last night, but it took, we had like an hour delay because of weather, and then we had to switch planes and all, all the other stuff. And, and you know, you just, we just blessed to be here and, and get here and play. Uh, we got here about seven. Yeah, about seven, seven in the morning. Oh, I I, I probably went to sleep for like an hour. Uh, he went to sleep for a long time. I don't know when he went to sleep, but everybody else seemed like they went to sleep. Yeah, uh, Trace, this is for you. Um, uh, the the, the St. Mary's guys, uh, coaches, players, Bennett and the players, uh, compared you a lot to Drew Timmy. I'm just curious your thought. Do you think that makes sense? Do you like it, not like it? I'm just kind of curious your, your thoughts on that. I mean, yeah, Drew's a great player. Um, he's got a lot of pieces around him, but he's he's got great footwork uh, on the low block. Um, he does a lot of things for their team. So I take that as a compliment. I mean, he's a player of the year finalist. So. Um, Oh, right. Yeah, I, th I think that's a compliment. So, Trace, Charlie, Wish TV, Indy. I think we've all been on these w road trips. You know, they're, they're fun until you just want to get to the place you're going to. At what point this morning were you finally ready just to get in your ho hotel room and get to bed? Man, uh, when we got on that plane, uh, we were there, and then they're like, hour delay. So we're like, all right, we're still enjoying the win. Then all of a sudden we had to switch planes, and then – Two hours later, we're finally taking off, and then slept a little on the plane, but it was kind of bumpy. And then finally just getting here, and then the bus ride was like 30 minutes to the uh, hotels. So by that time, I was like, can we please just like get here? And then we finally got to the hotel room, and then I probably fell asleep in three minutes. So, uh, Mike Pickering from uh, Peaks.com, either race or trace. Matthias Tass from, from St. Mary's, what have you learned about him, and what are the challenges he'll present tomorrow? Um, he's a great player, honestly. Um, he does a lot of work on the low block. Um, they do a lot of split game actions to where you can't double them. So um, it's going to be it's going to be a tough battle between me and him. So, um, but I can't wait. I'm eager to, and excited to go. Uh, yeah, he's definitely a good player. Uh, strong, big man. Uh, nothing we haven't seen before. Uh, and I think that as a team, we'll be able to uh, key in on that and uh, take care of what we need to do. Yeah, uh, Kevin Brockway, uh, CNHI. Uh, Trace, following up on kind of the point on Timmy, uh, in um, the St. Mary's win against Gonzaga, they were really physical with him, pushed him around a lot, so forth. Uh, I'm just curious about your thoughts. You see a lot of that bit in the Big Ten, but, uh, you know, uh, that challenge, and if they're physical with you, how, how, how will you respond? Um, yeah, I just think that just playing in the Big Ten um, kind of gets you ready for moments like these, going against seven-foot, 280-pound guys night in and night out. Um, um, I feel feel like I'm gonna have to use a lot of my athleticism and my quick feet. So, but um, I hope they're physical. I think they're, that's what their game plan is gonna be. Wyoming kind of did it last night as well. But um, I'm just gonna have to use my athleticism really. Jim Coyle, Indiana Sports Beat. I don't want to bang on the uh, travel issue a lot, but for, actually for all any of the, the three of you, I know how tired I am. And you guys just played in a, a very physical Big Ten tournament. Then you had a very physical game uh, on Tuesday night with the travel problems that you had. Woody always talks about how you're young and that doesn't really matter. But like I said, I know how tired I am. So it's got to affect you some. Are you feeling it? Um, really, I think for, and I think I can speak for them too. It's like, you think of it as um, you're going in and maybe you don't get as much sleep as you want, but you're playing one game. And this one game is could be the last game of your season. So you really don't have time to like hone in on how tired your legs are because all you want to do is win that game. So. Is basically whatever it takes, and maybe maybe our legs are tired, but we're gonna play through it and play as hard as we can. 
X. It looked like last night. Name and affiliation, please. Oh. Name and affiliation. Okay, George Montgomery, uh, Fox Sports National Radio. Um, watched you play all year, and it looked like last night you just didn't have your legs because a lot of most a lot of your shots were short. Did you feel like you're, you 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 were kind of tired from the Big Ten tournament? And your and your legs were weren't what were they supposed to be? Uh, no. Nah, I mean, I had I had enough rest. Uh, I mean, I just put the ball short off the glass and. Yeah, I, kind of, I was a little nervous going to the game. I can't, can't lie because it's a different stage, uh, even though it's another basketball game. But, I mean, I got my feet wet yes, uh, last night, so uh, I think I'm, I'm fine now. Uh, Jeff Rapp, John, Speaks.com. Race, uh, you, you had an off game the other night, um, very uncharacteristic for you. What happened? I mean, some people were asking, you know, is Ray sick? Did he get hurt? You know, or just bad night? What happened? Uh, I think it was just an off night for me personally. Uh, I mean, in the Big Ten tournament, I had another off night. I mean, I was just grateful to have Jordan Geronimo coming off the bench, uh, having a huge game for us. And he's capable of doing that for us. Uh, Trace had a big game, and X did what he had to do to help us get the win. But, I mean, uh, Coach said I'm a leader. I got to I gotta be better. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be that for – try to do that for our team uh, coming tomorrow. Top Bruce Sports Illustrated. And, yeah, X, just to follow up on, that, on what you just said, uh, there's been a lot of teams who've had that play-in game where they were, when they got to Thursday or Friday, did have sort of those nerves out of the way. I mean, how much does it help to have already have one game under the belt in regards to what you'll feel like in regards to butterflies and that when that game starts tomorrow night? Uh, I mean, it's important, uh, I mean, to get our feet wet, not, not just me, but the whole team, because uh, it's actually our, it's all of our first time in a tournament. So, I mean, just to go, just to go out there and play uh, and, and get, another, get another win win for us and go on to the next round is important. And I, I, think, I think everybody be ready going into the next game. Dave Griffiths with Fox 59 and Indy. This is a question for Trace. Trace, um, so many players can have their, uh, their legacies defined by NCAA tournament games. This is your first opportunity to play in such a game. How much have you looked forward to this opportunity? And now that you're here, just uh, what are your emotions kind of sitting around with, uh, with March Madness logos behind you and ready to, ready to show out on the big stage? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, it is a big moment. But at the same time, you've got to stay level-headed, really. Um, I know Coach Woody's been put a big emphasis on me um, ever since that Big Ten tournament. I feel really confident in my, how I'm playing. But at the same time, other guys like this guy right next to me, X, has been putting me in really good positions to score the ball. And um, we just got to keep playing how we've been playing. And um, a few of my teammates had a rough game coming off. Um, I think they had some pregame jitters. But coming into tomorrow night, I feel like everyone's going to be ready. We're going to take a couple questions from the Zoom room. Uh, Dustin, you may go ahead with your question. Uh, yeah, X, basically, obviously, Wyoming likes to play uh, play slow. St. Mary's does as well. What do you think you sort of learned from uh, that game, basically, just in terms of dealing with that kind of slow, deliberate pace? Uh, I mean, I, mean, I, I just had to take the chances of, of when, we, when I get a rebound or when my teammates get a rebound and, and, and try to get a, get a good push. And, and when I don't have a good push, set up the offense, uh, run my team, team like, like normal. Uh, I mean, because it's teams that, that's in the Big Ten that play the same way, uh, kind of like uh, Wisconsin, honestly. Uh, and, and, and you got to take smart shots, and you got to got to play 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 good, great defense, and you can't give them give them any any slip ups on defense uh, to where they where they can score the ball. And Tyler Tackman, you had a question. Go ahead. Uh, Tyler Tashman with Inside the Hall. Um, going back to the guy, to your guys' uh, playing troubles, uh, what did you do to pass the time? Were you, were you able to sleep at all, or I don't know if it's too old school to like bring out a deck of cards, but. Um, I guess, what did you guys just do during those couple hours? Uh, I mean, we were just kind of hanging out, uh, talking to each other, goofing off, uh, really just enjoying each other's company, uh, talking to the coaches, talking to the players. I mean, there's not really much to do but hang out with each other. So, I mean, once the plane got off, I know a lot of us were asleep on and off. But uh, in the meantime, we were really just hanging out. And we made a TikTok with Vyra. <laughs> <laughs> Trace, uh, considering where this team's gone the past week, have you allowed yourself to imagine what that locker room would be like tomorrow night if you walk out of here with a win? Um, yeah, um, I think it would be very exciting, and um, we're very capable of doing it, but it's going to be a hard, hard-fought hard game. Um, St. Mary's is a great team, especially defensively, so um, it's going to take our best game, and everyone's going to have to play their best um, to be able to walk out with a W, but getting that first true um, March Madness W and um, – how long, however long it's been, um, that'll be great for not only us, but for our program. 
Uh, Jeff Rabb, John Speaks.com. This is going to come a little bit out of left field, but like Cody Zeller, Mark Cuban, a bunch of people were tweeting about the, the new ball, how orange it was, was it was slick. Is it different? I mean, what's, if you guys could just to discuss it, what's, is it different? What's it like? Uh, I mean, it's, just, it's a rubber, it's a rubber ball. That's what it feels like. It's brand new. I mean, when, when it's broken into, it's, it's a good ball. Uh, I, I mean, I, I can recall my, probably my worst game that I had with it was probably Notre Dame when I when I went two for nine from three because the ball is just it's just different. It's just more sticky and it's hard to it's, it's a different English going off the back off, off the glass when you make layups. Uh, so I, I, I would say that that's probably different about it. Hey Trace, or, yeah, Trace, um, your dad's Dale Davis. I just want to know. Obviously, you talk to him a lot. What kind of information did he give you head, heading into this tournament? Um. Um, basically, the only thing that he really told me. After watching the Big Ten tournament, he just said that I just have to continue the way that I've been playing. Um, he said I'm doing a lot of good things for the team. So uh, we sat down and had dinner the night before we left, and he said um, just bring it to him. So basically, I'm just going to try to keep playing at that level. We have another question from the Zoom room. Tyler Tackman once again. Go ahead. Yeah, Coach uh, Woodson has talked about this year how he wants to build um, great men in the program, not just great basketball players. Um, what would you say is the, the biggest um, way that he has helped you become better men since you since you started playing for him? Um, I really just think, honestly, with Coach Woodson, it's just accountability. Um, he, he, he's, it's all about family. It's all about it's all about us as students and at, athletes second, honestly. And um, he puts a really big emphasis on that. He's almost like our, our dad in that sense where we can come to him for a lot of things and he's going to help us out and do whatever he needs to do. But overall, um, I've been blessed. I think I can speak for them too. I've been playing for him and uh, honestly just learning everything that he's done for us. Is, um, it's been a big impact on all of us. Uh, Mike, Mike Pegram from Peaks.com. You guys played Iowa in, uh, in the Big Ten tournament without, without Jordan. You played a lot of games without uh, Trey Galloway and Robert Finnessy. Do you guys, how fortunate do you feel now that you seem like you've got all the pieces in place? Uh, I think it's really good to have all our pieces in place uh, at the right time as well. I think we're playing some of our best basketball uh, as an all around team. Uh, but I mean, just having everybody healthy, uh, it just makes everything better. Uh, the vibe's better. Uh, you get a different spark from each and every person coming off of the bench. And uh, I think that Jordan and Trey and even having Rob uh, for the season right now, uh, it just really helps us out uh, in minutes and uh, just giving us those extra boosts coming off of the bench. We've got time for one more question. Yeah, uh, race, uh, Kevin Brockway, CNHI, race uh, plus nine on the boards last night. I think it was 16-6, second chance points. How, how important is that going to be to continue you guys just being aggressive there? Uh, second chance points are big in every single game. So uh, that's something that our coaches preach to, especially me and Trace and Jordan and big, uh, Michael Durr. But, uh, I mean, that's definitely emphasis for us in every single game. Uh, try to get second chance points, uh, even get a second shot up. I mean, if you can get more shots up, you score more points. So. Uh, for us, that's a big emphasis uh, coming into every game. All right, Race Thompson, Xavier Johnson, Trace Jackson Davis, thank you very much. Good luck tomorrow. Appreciate it. Thank you.